that has an ear, let him hear. Welcome back. I'm Carissa and this is Carissa's Confirming Corner. And today we're going to talk about when you can't hear God. Now I know a lot of us experience this, especially of us um, that have a strong relationship with God, a seasoned Christian. Where you go through those dry spots where you can't quite hear God like you used to. We're going to hit three points and maybe why that is so. First of all, simply put, you're just not listening. You have so much going on around you. So much noise and commotion that you can't hear God. He said he's going to have a still, small voice. Now, if you're in a room of noise and thunder... Can you hear a still, small voice? Now, the thunder in our life is sometimes other people. Sometimes the trials and tribulations we're going through. Sometimes our family. Sometimes it's even us. We are the reason why we can't hear God because we got so much going on within ourselves that we can't hear when God is speaking to us. Next, it's just because you're going through a trial. Now remember, the teacher is always silent during the test. But the teacher is always present as well. Now when you're going through your trials, that's your time to utilize what's already instilled in you. So you won't continue to be spoon-fed. God said, okay, I gave you all the tools to defeat this trial. Now use them. Don't just always wait for him to say, okay, do this and do that. When it's already in you. Now, just like when you were in school, when you took the test and you gave it to the teacher, the teacher looked over and be like, okay, try that again. That's how God is with us. We're going to keep going through that test until we get it right. He's still there guiding us. We just got to listen. We just got to know him. Now, thirdly, you can't hear God because maybe he changed how he's talking to you. Some of us may be used to hearing God in our dreams, in visions, through other people. Maybe God has changed how he's talking to you. We must learn to seek God in everything. I've learned that if I fall, I'm looking for God in that fall. If I'm in an accident, I'm looking for God in that accident. If I oversleep, I'm looking for God in the reason why I overslept. See God in everything because he's there. He's talking to you. You just have to listen. And most importantly, read his word. He's always talking to us through his word. Every problem you have can be solved through the word of God. You can't just go by the word that you already know and think that you're going to stop learning. As long as you have breath in your body, there's room to learn. There's something that he needs to tell you. I challenge you to seek God in everything you do. Not just in the things that you feel like you can't control, but in everything because he's always giving instructions. And most importantly, stay in your word. Stay in your word. You cannot go a day without being in your word. For that's the only way you'll know when you truly hear God. Because God said, my sheep hears and knows my voice. For the question is not that, if God stopped talking, but is, did you stop listening? I pray this was a blessing to you. Please click subscribe below and tell someone. And remember, when you're down to nothing, God is up to something.